Bali. Good things. Is there many people there right now or not? No. Okay, I'll, I'll go there with the boat. I appreciate it. Welcome back guys, brand new video. I'm out here fishing at this lake right here. So I'm at the same fish management as I was in the previous video. So I decided to come out, enjoy some day, you know, beautiful day. It's October 30, 30th, I believe, it's the 30th? October 31st, so it's Halloween today. And so I decided to come out here at this uh, fish management. It's a different lake than the lake I was fishing at. So I got my boat this time. I got it right here behind me. You already know, we already ready. But I got the truck already here. The boat's already set up, got my rods and everything. Um, here's the lake right here. Apparently the lake is 43 acres big. So hopefully let's see if there's any good fish out here. So it's currently 127. It's almost it's almost uh, 130. Uh, we, we just made it right now. Just got the boat ready. It was really busy at this fish management. I mean, it's a Sunday. So, you know, beautiful day weather right now. It's not too hot, not too cold. Weather temperature right now, I believe it was at the uh, 70s. Uh, the high 70s, I believe. So it's a beautiful day out here to come out fishing. So I decided to come out here, you know. Um, started coming out late. I was trying to come out earlier, but you know, I work at, I work at uh, night shift. So I got out, didn't get to bed around like 4 a.m. So I decided to come out. At least I made it out here in the water. So let's see how the water looks, how beautiful it looks. And so let's check it out. All right, guys, so this is the lake right here. So it's 43 acres big. So as you could tell, there's a little sucker fish, the ugly fish is out there. I see a little small bait right here at the, at the boat ramp. And as well as right there, there's a lot of structure all that goes all around the lake too. So I'm gonna troll down, hit these branches, hit, the, hit everything. So at least everything so I could be able to catch a fish. So the water looks amazing. Look how beautiful it looks. Really beautiful. So yeah, luckily there's nobody right now at this uh, boat ramp. Um, I think apparently there was one person, but I'm pretty sure that person's gone. I don't see the boat, I don't see his car. So um, there's multiple lakes around this fish management. And so there's a lot of vehicles around like 10 boats I saw at this fish management just coming in. And so I believe it's a busy day, it's a Sunday. So you know, you already know. So um, I already have everything set up, like I said. Um, and I really appreciate you guys viewing and liking from my previous video, you know, I really, really appreciate it. You know, keep liking the videos, keep viewing my videos, and if you're new to the channel, keep subscribing. So I'm trying to upload every every week, trying to do my best, but you know, if you enjoy the content, subscribe to the channel, leave a like, leave a comment as well. If you have any questions or anything, just let me know in the comments as well, so, yeah. Got the old mighty boat right here, you already know. So, um, it's been a while since I took this boat out. I have my coffee because I'm really tired, you know, it's, it's, I'm tired right now. I got everything, my GoPro, my camera, my bags, my tackle. This time I didn't forget my uh, soft plastics. So I have everything with me. I have all my poles right here. So I have like three spinning rods and then three, um, <laughs> three bait casters. One for each different type of fishing. So I'm going to use all those. I have one tight end for like this from my previous, uh, previous time. So I'm going to try to do some flipping. I'm going to do some um, like uh, uh, Senko. Uh, Texas rig have some little um, this is a plopper I believe from the Guggen baits trying that out trying to see how that works and then I have um, as well as a chatter bait spinner bait trying to see it's fall season right now have my right here the mo the baby right here ready to go so it's fall season right now so hopefully you know the fish are chasing bait uh, like I said previous video uh, I'm pretty sure I, I you didn't really see in the video, but when I was fishing throughout the day, you see uh, fish chasing bait, you see uh, bait jumping, you see the fish jumping. So I'm pretty sure it's fall season right now. So hopefully they're chasing, I don't know, it could be shad, whatever, what kind of bait fish they have. But hopefully, you know, we're able to catch them. But less talking, you know, I'm gonna get the boat ready, jump in the water and start fishing. Hopefully we're able to catch a giant one. See you in the water.
<laughs> Alright guys, so we just made it out the water. Was cruising down the lake. The lake is really calm. It's not too windy. It's the first cold front of the, of the year for Florida and Florida. So if you live in Florida, you know it's the first cold front in October 31st right now, Halloween. Perfect weather to go fishing. And so, made it out here at the lake. I'm out here in the middle of the lake. So I started cruising around trying to see where I want to start to go, where I want to start fishing. And so, um, I basically went all the way to the end of the lake. I'm here. There's some branches. I'm gonna start throwing some uh, some uh, chatter bait. I'm gonna start throwing a uh, little buzz bait. Anything that um, any moving bait right now to see if the fish are chasing any bait. And then from there, if I'm having no luck with that, I'm gonna start flipping using the senko, using the twig worm, uh, flipping uh, whatever, and trying to see what I'm able to catch. So it's a beautiful day right now. Water looks amazing right now. It's really cool. I've never been to this lake before, so let's see how this goes. And so, you know, if we catch any, we catch any. But if we don't, you know, we don't. And so I'm just trying to record my experience at this lake, trying to record it for y'all guys and just the experience I'm having for the day. And so, you know, I'm out here trying to have fun. Um, it's a little stress reliever as well for me, you know, enjoying outdoors, um, hanging out, fishing by myself, you know, it's a little stress reliever for me as well. And so if you decided to go fishing, I recommend going fishing out, you know, on your days off, enjoy the outdoors. Stop staying inside, come outside, do something outdoor wise, it doesn't matter, but yeah. But let's start fishing, I'm going to start getting the GoPro ready, uh, my chest mounts are already ready, I'm going to get the other GoPro ready, put the trolling motor and see what I'm able to tie on and start fishing. Got one guys. Got one. Got one guys. I ain't ha I wasn't recording. This camera was recording. Oh my god, look at this nice one. Oh shit, it's a nice one. It's a nice one guys. Oh my god. Ah, it's a nice oh it's hell yeah guys. Alright. I don't think I'm able to blow. Oh it's a nice. Come on. Oh hell yeah guys. Dude. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at this. Not even hooked them well. So I was throwing that plopper and I was like, you know what? Let me throw this buzz bait right here. I threw it. This GoPro was off. This GoPro caught it. Luckily, look at this. Look at this fish right here. Oh, yeah, guys. Hopefully, you can see it. Hopefully, you're able to see. Look at this beautiful fish right here. Hell yeah, guys. White. I threw the buzz bait. Threw it right there in front of me. And uh, I was able to catch it right there. I felt like a little jump. He attacked it. And look at this beautiful fish right here. Hell yeah, guys. A nice, beautiful bass right here. Florida bass. Oh my god. Woo, just let him go. Hell yeah guys. You gotta keep on fishing. That was bass number one. It's currently 226. So took us only an hour. Honestly got in the water around two. Took us 30 minutes to get ready. But that was the second fish. First fish through that buzz bait. This buzz bait right here and they ate it. And so I'm gonna keep on using this buzz bait, trying to see if I'm able to catch more with that buzz bait. But yeah, it's a little quick update. Hell yeah, we gotta keep on fishing. All right, guys, that's a little quick release. Uh, the bass jumped and he, he released himself, so I wasn't too worried about it. But like I said, I'm throwing this white buzz bait right here from the Guggen Guggen baits. I was using the plopper, but the plopper wasn't working out so well. I didn't like it, so I switched it out to this buzz bait. And like I said, there's there's not a lot of wind in this area, so it's really plain. And so I threw it right over there, reeled it in slowly, and that's when it jumped and it ate it. So this bait's turning out so good. Hopefully we're able to catch with this one. Hopefully this is the lucky bait for the day. And see, you know, we're ready to catch some more. But wasn't recording the chest coat pro, but I was recording on this GoPro right here. So hopefully the footage doesn't look too whack. And um, yeah, you know, 
first fish of the day it was a decent i think i believe it was like a two and a half two and two pounder wasn't too big but you know it's a nice decent healthy fish florida bass so let's keep on fishing Another one, guys. Another one. Another one. Another one. Another one, guys. It's another one. Another one. Ah, oh, he got king. King came loose. Came loose. Woo! They're chasing bait right now. They are chasing bait. It's a nice one too. Oh. Come on. Come on. Don't lose him. Oh, it's a nice one too. Woo! Another one. Fish number two, guys. Fish number two. Don't lose him. Come on. He's uh, all right. All right. Come on. All right. Oh, my God. Look at this chunker right here. <whistles> Telling you they're chasing bait right now. I'm at the same spot. Yeah, I wasn't gonna lose them. That's the first fish I caught. Cast it right here, caught the second one. Look at this chunker right here. They're chasing bait right now. It's a good time. It's fall season, of course. Good bait. The buzz bait is the number one bait to go. Hopefully I don't lose it. Hopefully I don't get it stuck and lose it. But look at this chunker right here. Hell yeah, guys. Look at this bass. It's a nice chunker right here. Beautiful day. Beautiful day in Florida. So, this is the bait they're chasing right now. This is where they're chasing. These bass right here are chasing this right now. So, hell yeah. This is a nice chunker right here. Nice size. Nice size fish. Okay, right here. I'm telling you guys. This is the... This is the second fish of the day. It's a nice Florida bash. Look, it's bigger than more. Hell yeah. I say it's like a three pounder. I'm gonna weigh it real quick, see what it is. I'm gonna see what the weight of this fish is. But yeah, they're chasing that buzz bait. They're chasing that buzz bait. So it's a good thing I got that buzz bait. It's a nice chunker right here. I'm probably gonna take a picture, put it on Instagram, we'll weigh it, see how it is. Hell yeah, guys, we gotta keep on fishing. Second fish of the day. And it's only been, it's only been like 10 minutes. 10 minutes and I caught the second fish. Hell yeah, guys. This is almost a three pounder, 2.7. It's a nice fish right here. Hell yeah, guys. So I'm gonna put him in the water real quick. Sorry, homie, put you back. Keep eating, keep eating good. All right, homie. See you next one. Hopefully I'm catching your brothers next. All right, you can go. Go swim along. There she goes. There she goes. Hell yeah, guys. That was fish number two. We're going to catch number three next. I'm going to keep on fishing this area. I see that there's fish chasing bait right now. And so I'm pretty sure it's a good good area right here. So I'm going to continue on fishing. Continue going. All right, guys. This is the lucky bait. I'm going to continue fishing with this. See what we catch. Continue on fishing. I'm in the same spot. I'm going to continue fishing the same spot. There's fish... It looks like they're chasing bait with this. They'll continue with this and hopefully we're able to catch more with this. This is like the third bite with this. Caught two, missed the second one. So caught two and then the second bite, uh, missed it. But got a nice chunker, almost three, three, almost three pounders. 
Nice fish. Got another one. Oh my god. I almost caught one, guys. I almost caught one. Alright. I'm gonna cast it again over there. Got one. Okay, he's stuck in the branch. I got one, guys. Ah, oh, he got loose. Back up, back up, back up. All right, guys, a little quick update. So it's currently 3.35. It's been two hours since I fished. I was able to catch two fish. I hooked about four fish, but the thing is I lost about two of them. More than, I think I hooked five, caught two, and lost three so right now I'm currently at the same spot where I caught both of them and so there's bait in the shore inside the grass and so I'm pretty sure these bait are hiding from the bass so I've been casting that buzz bait in between the grass and I've been hitting getting strikes the only thing I don't have a trailer on the buzz bait and so it, sometimes I hook them and then they get loose but I'm getting hits and so it's a good spot it's a good day it's a good um, day to go fishing at this lake first time in my first time being on this lake so you know for me Hell yeah, it's a great day for me. I caught two, so if I continue on catching more, I'll be happy. But yeah, it's a little quick update. So here's the spot, it's right there behind me. Hopefully you can see. So all over there, there's little like grassy areas. And so that's where the bait are hiding right now currently. And I believe the bass are just waiting until they're able to catch them. So I'm gonna continue with the buzz bait, then switch off to a chatter bait and probably do a little swimmer, a swim bait and see if they're able to attack that too guys i wasn't recording guys i wasn't recording i wasn't recording guys but i switched it to the chatterbait let it sink gopro was off but look at this beautiful fish right here hell yeah we're both looking right now come on oh, hell yeah hell yeah look at this nice fish right here third one of the day yeah, he wasn't coming off anytime soon. Two pounder, I say. Nice two pounder right here, guys. Wasn't recording on the GoPro. I wasn't recording on the chest GoPro either. Cast my chatterbait, let it sink, and then out of nowhere, it just took, it just bit it. And so I didn't even start reeling, and I felt the bite. GoPro wasn't recording, but I can show y'all that I did catch one right here. Hell yeah, guys. Second fish, no, third fish of the day. We gotta continue. I'm gonna continue fishing this spot because this is this is a juicy spot. This is where bait are swimming at. So I'm pretty sure these bass are chasing these baits. So hell yeah, I'm gonna continue on fishing, see how many we can catch. Hopefully there's a big mama in here hiding. So hell yeah. Alright homie, I'm gonna let you go. Thank you for a nice fish. Continue fishing, trying to catch the third one, fourth one. Alright homie, you good to go. There he goes. Hell yeah guys. Yeah, we're gonna continue on fishing. This is the third fish of the day. It's not bad, and it's only 3.45, almost 4 p.m. We still got two hours of fishing till the sun goes down. I'm gonna continue throwing this right here around this area, see if anything, other movements happen, see if other fish start biting, but yeah. All right, guys, so I caught three in this spot, so I'm gonna continue moving on, trolling down. I'm not gonna continue fishing the same spot. I've been here for like most of the day. It's just I've been catching a few, but I was losing some bites. It's just this uh, this buzz bait doesn't have a trailer, so the fish the fish um hops off easily. They uh, let go easily, so I'm gonna keep on trolling down this uh, lake all the way back. I have about I'm probably gonna fish an hour and thirty minutes left before it turns dark. It's Halloween, so I'm gonna go spend some time with the family, uh, the brothers, the little brothers, to see what they're doing. But yeah, it's a great time. Had a great time. This spot is really juicy. So next time I'm com coming out here, I'm going to continue fishing this spot. I'll probably come out here again next week on a different area. Because I didn't explore the whole lake yet. So I'm going to continue on fishing this spot probably. So let's continue. Damn. I could take a picture for you if you want.
You want a picture? Okay. You sure? Yeah, that's crazy. Hell yeah. Say s maybe eight? No, I don't think so, but. Eight and a half, bro. Oh! I got it right. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, guys. See, everybody's catching them today. My boy caught a caught an eight pounder right there. Eight, eight and a half. It's a nice, decent size. Hell yeah. Keep on fishing, guys. All right, guys. So this is gonna be the last spot I've been fishing. It's currently almost six o'clock. So I've been here for about we got here. Let's say the water around two. So we fished for two, three, four, five, six, four hours. So it's not bad. Four hours and we caught three fish. Not bad. That first spot was the best spot of the of the day. So that's where all the bait was hiding at. That's where the, the bass was waiting and eating bait. And so, yeah. And then as you probably saw in the video, um, there's a guy fishing. I passed by him and he caught an eight and a half pound bass. And so it was an incredible day at this lake. And so he had a good day for himself as well. And so, you know, eight and a half, that's pretty amazing. And so hopefully one day I'll catch an eight and a half as well. And so, yep, a little quick update just to let you know that I'm still using the chatterbait. Um, I'm gonna use a little buzz bait right here because it's really calm, not too windy. And there's a lot of grassy area. So hopefully there's bait around there and um, hopefully there's bass as well. So it's uh, last, this is gonna be the last spot. And so yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna fish this spot and see what happens. All right guys, so we just made at the boat ramp. It was a great long day, only fished for about four hours. It's currently 6.04. We got here around, I believe it was around two. So we only fished for about four hours. So it was a great, wonderful day, great, wonderful time fishing. I enjoyed my time. I was able to catch at least three. They were a decent size. They're over two and a half, two pounds. So it was a good day for me. Um, in total, I probably hooked about like five or six, but only caught three and lost the rest. Um, like I said, my buzz bait doesn't have a trailer, so it's re it was really hard for me to hook them up well. So when I reel them in, they'll they'll unhook themselves. And so you know, it was a great day, great day. I'm gonna clean up the boat right now. It's quite messy right now, so I got a whole bunch of baits out here. My bags, my fishing bag, all everything. I'm going to clean this up, everything. Head to the boat ramp. I'm right here. So I went trolling from all the way from the first spot all the way to the boat ramp. And so it was a great, amazing day. So, yeah, this lake is about 43 acres. And so it was a big, decent size. It wasn't big, but it was a decent sized lake for a John boat. So, you know, it's one of the fish managements here in Florida. It's a great, uh, great time. So if you fish at these fish managements, I recommend going. It's a great uh, experience because um, this lake, they can't take any bass home with them. So there's specific lakes that you can take some bass, but there's some specific lakes that you can't. So this lake, any, it's a catch or release lake. And so it was a great experience. So it makes them fish healthy. And so, you know, but all right, so I'm gonna head out to the boat ramp and that's pretty much it. But hopefully you enjoyed the video so far. It was a great, amazing experience. I was able to catch three. So, you know, great video for y'all. But I'm gonna get ready, head to the boat ramp and I'll do the outro over there. Alright guys, that's pretty much it for today's video. You know, it was a great amazing day I had today. So I had an amazing day at the water out here. Not a lot of people were out here at this lake. There was only me and two other boats today. And so it was a great amazing day. Um, there's other lakes that got packed with big, big bass boats. So I want to try those lakes out and see how those turn out. But yeah, it's a great amazing day. The sun is su setting right now. Beautiful Florida right now. It's Halloween. So I'm gonna go enjoy the time, spend the time with the family, see what they're doing for tonight. But yeah, the sun's going down. Great, amazing day. We caught three bass today in total. I was, I hooked myself about five, I believe, more than five or six. Don't know, but I only caught three. So it was a great, amazing day. Had an amazing time. I hope you enjoyed the video. You know, if you have anything like in the comments or anything you want to tell me or. In, Please put in the comments any questions, anything. And also, you know, just like the video. Also, subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already. But, you know, support me. I'm just a regular Florida man, fishing man over here in Florida. So, I really appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel. 
but you know, I'm just showing my daily, my daily, uh, it's like a daily vlog of fishing. So if I don't catch anything, I'm still gonna record, show you my adventure, see what I did throughout the day. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, later on, I also wanna do more videos like catch and cook. So I wanna buy a little portable grill where I'll be able to catch and cook the fish. And also like, you know, when I get hungry, cook some burgers as well. So, you know, some content for you guys. It's, so it won't be just fishing, so it could be something else as well. But yeah, I got the boat here the truck ready I'm gonna head out clean up and head out but I hope you liked the video please leave a like subscribe to the channel see you in the next one peace